plants and soil That's the only better toy The seeds you keep Those ones you will never reap Get out and make hay Keep the pride and heat away That's the only That's the only way to go so wicked, Nana. Hey, Mary, how can you be so wicked? Huh? What did you use to be this poor girl again? <laughs> I still don't know what you are doing here. Oh, you don't know? I will tell you why we are here. <laughs> we are here to tame you, as it seems me. Your husband, who you are supposed to respect, can no longer talk, <laughs> tell you what to do. Oh, please. Don't even bring that respect in here. If you truly understand it, you will see it is important I be this girl well. Oh. So she'll learn respect. Besides, no woman will teach me how to raise my daughter. I repeat, no woman. Your daughter? She's my daughter too, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this 45 seconds, man. You are calling yourself a man. You are calling yourself a man? Daughter indeed. Anyway, where is this woman that you have forced us to meet? She will soon be here. You smell the pepper. You know I don't have time. You know. Good morning, Coco. Good morning to IC. So you have a meeting with the Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protection. You have six documents waiting for your golden touch. And of course, today is the big day. <laughs> Who are those in my office? Oh, that's your first and only case for today. And it doesn't look good in there. If it did, they wouldn't be here. Mr. Yeah, madam. Good morning. Morning. Oh, please have a seat. Thank you. I can see Mrs. Samuel has already made herself comfortable. Mm -hmm. So, where do we start? <clears throat> uh, as I explained on the phone, mm -hmm. this woman wants to kill our only daughter. How can someone do such a thing to your own flesh and blood? Anna, get up. Madam, just look at it. Madam, why would you do this to your own daughter? What did they say? My daughter and not yours. Hmm? What is your business in all this? See, I know you. You're very popular and so bloody what? But you know you like to stick this big nose of yours into what does not concern you. Eh? But you cannot try it in my household. Not with my family. If I like, I will kill her and give her to another one. You what what is your business? Do you know that I can have you arrested? No. And you have to explain this to the courts. <laughs> and you might face a possible jail time. Please, madam, it has not gotten to that. <laughs> jail, please. I'm scared. Reason my fault. In which country? Why do you think I would run like Hussein Bolton when you mentioned prison or what? Sometimes I don't understand women like your type. You don't even have a husband or a child and yet. And you don't want to teach me how to run my home. Huh? Is that it? 
Rubbish. Nah. What nonsense is this? Oh, hey, let, get up. Let's go. She's not going anywhere. Will you sit down? Oh. You want to talk, eh? <laughs> Madam, sit down. Who are you to tell? And listen to me very carefully. Now, I may not have a husband or a child, but what I do have is many years of experience. Mm. That's a good news. This is our chair. She's currently facing three years mm. in prison for child molestation and abuse. This, Zaina. See, like you, I warned her to stop abusing her son. But she didn't listen. Mm. And he died. Now, she's going to be in prison for life and her whole family is devastated. Oh, but there's more. This is AC. There's a Rafa. There's Sewa. All of them but, in it's jail. Not, madam, it's enough. She will, she will stop. She, she... No, it's not. This is a seven year old child whose rights you constantly violate in the name of parenthood. But she's too stop. No, no, no. Just stop. Let me finish. Is it okay to scold a child? Yes. But what is not okay is for a father who constantly blames a mother for abusing their child and a mother who thinks that just because she's been on a nine-month mission can uh, uh, torture her own daughter. She's too stubborn. So what? Now listen to me. Both of you are now on my radar. Both of you. And nothing gets past my radar. I will be watching you. If you so much as hit this child, I will personally make it my mission to involve officials of the Domestic Violence and Victims Unit and the Social Welfare Department. And just like that, you'll be prosecuted and lose your child. Do you hear me? Yes, madam. We mm will -hmm. do as you say. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's all your fault. It's not her fault. It's not your fault. It's it's not her fault. This child is a gift. I mean, are they impossible? Yes. Are they stubborn? Of course. But that does not give you the right to treat them like objects. Do you hear me? So you're going to go home, love yourselves, and take care of your family. Yes, we will do that. Thank you very much. I see, come in. Look at you. Where, where do you think you are going? You are such a rat, Coco. Kofi, you are a fool. I know. Who's going to clean this up? Look at the mess you've made. Losing up, Coco. It will be cleaned up. Why don't you have a cleaner here? Losing up. I know. Look at this. Look, it's your favorite. Who's favorite? I told you I've stopped drinking. You know the number of times I've heard that. I mean, at this time, I have stopped no alcohol. I've heard that like ten million times in the last ten years. Hey, you've stopped drinking. <laughs> Why are your glasses? <laughs> eh? And because I've stopped drinking, I don't. <laughs> Office can see you. Then you have this. It's just like you and your two eyes. Just, just. I might not even drink. Hey, sister. 
I know you. Wait. I said I'm not drinking. It's because of you. <laughs> Are you ready for a big day? See, I'm so proud of you. Proud of what? I mean, do you know what's going to happen tonight? <laughs> well, apart from the fact that you're going to look like a 50,000 Ghana City's princess, I know you're going to steal the night when you win it. I've already won this twice. I'm sure they can find someone else who does exactly what I do. <laughs> Did you hear yourself? What you do, no one does it better than yourself, Coco. To lose enough. Losing our cause. That's my girl. <laughs> and then just get ready to enjoy the moment. Mm. Huh? What's this? Your favorite, of course. Mm. So it tastes so cheap. <laughs> cheap? Would you take anything so cheap? <laughs> See, I know you so well. Take these 200 Ghana CDs, go out, get us staple pins, we're out of stock. They're 15 Ghana CDs. On your way back, pass by Abiase, get me Fufu and Abenkwa. It's some, you know, for 25 Ghana CDs. Pass by Labadi Post Office. There's a red envelope there. Ask of Derek, give him 80 Ghana CDs. He'll give you the envelope. You can keep 10 Ghana cities and my change will be. That will be 70 Ghana cities. Yes, hurry up, please. To close the door. Oh, oh, that. So you don't want to leave. I'm sorry. I'm already enjoying your house. No need for crying yourself to sleep in the night. Dancing. Make sure you win. I will see about that. Give it up for him, give it up for him. He's done tremendously well. And the award for the most impact in child and youth advocacy for the third year running for her outstanding work is none other than the graceful, elegant, and beautiful Coco Kofi. Oh, good. <laughs> well. Thank you. He deserved that, didn't he? I really didn't think I was going to win this a third time, but here I am. So I prepared a little speech just in case. So do indulge me. Thank you all once again uh, for this honor. Much as I like to say it's for all of us, this one is truly for my team. Please give it up for them. It has really been a year full of surprises. And this is a validation that the work that we do has an impact across the country. So again, thank you. Never has there been a more important time to talk about the issues children 
teenagers and the youth face and their access and understanding of justice. Now it's only fair to highlight some of our most reported cases this year. Cases of intimidation, crime, corruption, and of course, more treatment and abuse. No matter what happens, no one has the right to treat a child like an object. No one. Please. Please, I'm sorry, Rudolph. <laughs> However, currently in Ghana, more than 90% of children have experienced some form of physical abuse or violence. This simply is unacceptable. We will only stop at one thing in getting justice. And that one thing is? Nothing. Again? Nothing. Great. Now let's talk about fear and intimidation. A virus that has eaten into the very fabric of our existence. You know, one way or the other, we'll get this document. But you just choose to make things tough. So I'll ask you one more time. Please. Don't, Don't hurt me. Please don't make <coughs> don't hurt, please. I'm begging you to help me help you. Before I make it impossible for you to have another son. <gasps> Oppressor is primarily a coward and threats should never be approved in any way or form. So before I leave, I'd like to talk about crime and corruption. Does the end always justify the means? I don't think so. Did you fix it? You wouldn't be stopping me if I didn't. I you have a little blood on your... Oh, this is when I was trying No to... details. I'm just glad you fixed it. Okay? The end justifies the means. Only when the means means no one gets hurt. Intimidated. And when no one, especially children and the youth, who are the future of this nation, are more treated abused or violated thank you all for this award and it belongs to all of us rising up and advocating against the injustice against children and the youth we are committed to ending this and we will not cannot and must never stop fighting thank you my name is Koko Kofi.
şüphe ki Allah da doğru. Titi. 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 Welcome, madam. Welcome. You... Ah! 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 Ah!